Hey, this is Matt from Dinosaur Pilot. So, how long have you known each other and was it prior to the band? Um, no, we kind of, everybody in the band met each other, like, via the band, I guess. Um, I met Mikey, like, three years ago, maybe four years ago. Uh, he was playing a show, he was supporting Dinosaur uh, on tour, and I saw him playing Gonna Blew My Mind and reminded me of uh, Dale Cover of the Melvins. Do you know him? He's like one of my favourite drummers. So I went and hung out with him later and ended up staying at his place, and then next time we toured that part of the country, I stayed at his place, and like, we kind of became like really close anyway. So when I was coming out doing the first record, on tour, I emailed Mike in. He was in the band like straight away, I guess. Um, so I've known him for like four years or like three, four years. And then James, I met through uh, the photographer who shot the front cover of the second record. He was a really close friend of mine. Uh, and we got like a house on fire like instantly. So I guess I've known him for like a year or two years now. Cool. Um, how would you describe your music or your sound? <coughs> um, <laughs> uh, probably I would describe it as like punk rock I guess like I guess there's a lot of grungy 90s influences in there we're British obviously so there's some some Britpop I guess but like punk rock as a genre is always the biggest influence so I'd probably say like hard rock or punk rock or something what gives you the biggest rush when performing live? Um, probably when... Uh, what gives me the biggest rush? I don't know. I'm super nervous anyway, so every time I go on stage, I'm just like super nervous. Mm -hmm. So even going on stage is kind of a rush. Well, it's a massive rush. I guess like when the crowd like interact and, <clears throat> you know, kind of... You, you, you kind of feel like you're all in it together, that's a rush. Um, when people kind of like communicate with you and it's not icy or whatever, like, that's a, that's a real rush. When you get a big reaction and stuff, you know. But whatever, I mean, the whole thing for me is a rush. <laughs> um, Alright, so you have a new EP coming out called Peninsula, and a new full-length album called Nature Nurture. Yeah. The EP is out on October 29th, mm -hmm. so do you want to start by telling us a little bit about the EP and then we can talk more about the album? Yeah. Um, the EP, I guess, is, you know, because we're only coming out over to the US like mm -hmm. now, it's kind of introductory. Um, so it's kind of a taster of the record for people that could get into it and, you know, so people can kind of follow that up with mm -hmm. getting the record when it comes out. Um, we're leading with Peninsula as, as the main song because it kind of, I kind of feel like it epitomizes the album and like what the album's about and you know, the kind of energy and youth, I guess, in, in the record. So, and that's kind of, you know, my favorite song on the record, I think. So it's nice for like us to start with that song and, you know, begin with, with that as the first taste of people. First thing that people hear from us, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. And Nature Nurture? Nature Nurture. When's that coming out again? Early next year. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, yeah, I, you know, Nature Nurture is wicked. <laughs> um, it's our second record and it's going to come out with you guys next year. And we're just kind of super pumped for, for that to to hit the states. I think like, you know, from doing <clears throat> a tour over here now, I kind of feel like that album, I don't know, from people like listening to that album live and stuff, it seems like they really get where we're coming from and like understand the sound and stuff. So <clears throat> it's quite an energetic record of like rock and alternative rock and stuff. So. Do you have a favorite song that's on there that isn't on the EP? Do I have one? Yeah. Um, yeah, probably. There's a bunch. I love that record. Like Nature Nature, the title track <coughs> isn't on the EP, and that ends the record. Um, and I think that's a that's a tune. That's probably it. Cool. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, what would you say to people watching this who may not be familiar with your music? In terms of like the music, I guess. Well, how would I describe it? Um, well, I guess you kind of already answered that. Just what, what would you like to say to people who <laughs> haven't heard? <laughs> I guess I, I, you know, I think people should listen to, like, people that haven't heard us over here and stuff, I guess, <clears throat> should listen to us if they, if they feel like they want something fresh that's rocking. I feel like that's, you know, there's not a lot of bands that are actually kind of kicking it live and stuff, and making rock records that, that aren't kind of like overproduced and kind of lifeless in a way. I feel like the way the records come together with Dinosaur and also the live shows and stuff is kind of a bit, um, just a bit kind of raw and I don't really see a lot of mainstream bands doing that anymore. So I think that people, you know, I don't know, I think if they want something like a little bit fresher, they should try us out. And then, last question, um, what advice would you give to people entering the music scene that you wish you knew when you first started out? Um, <clears throat> uh, do everything that you want as early as you can. I, th I think I, I think I wanted to be in a band for ages, like since I was like 11, and obviously I was a kid then. But like, just in general, I always wanted to, to be in a band. And I think I was always trying to please other people by like, oh, I'll go to college or whatever, when really all I wanted to do, what all I wanted to do was in a band. And eventually I ended up in a band. So I'm kind of like, oh, I should have just done that anyway. <laughs> so that's what I'd say, do exactly what you want.